In this application, we're also using the CL3 MG140 probe, and we're taking data density of 10 by 10 microns. And here you can see that we're getting a very good signal on this uh, round sort of circular target. And if we come in here and we take a look at it 3D, you can see that we're getting a good, very good measurement on this target. And you can see it's got a, it's, it's a little porous. We've got some porosity there. But let's go back and take a look at making a diameter measurement. Um, typically, there should be some more tools to do this. But for our purposes today, let's just let's do it this way. And of course, you can see that we can come in here quite easily and take this distance measurement from side to side. And we're, and we're getting a, a diameter of about 0.734 millimeters or 734 uh, microns. And so let's come back and do the same thing going north to south. We'll just, and you know, you can usually automate this with software to be able to do this, to be able to do a circle fit and get a lot more accurate uh, diameter measurement. But as you can see, we're doing pretty good here. And once again, let's come in and take that. And here we're also showing 733 microns versus 734 microns up there. Uh, but a very good way to make that easy diameter measurement on this part. And of course, with some software, you can automate the whole process.